the guys, we just kept saying, hey, we're in a great place in Cary, North Carolina. We're playing baseball. The weather's beautiful. A little hotter than we'd like it, but uh, let's go out and have fun. I think everybody probably in the park figured, uh, well, no, our I know our fans thought we could do it. Everybody also with uh, the young man of your face and all the press that he's gotten. I don't know if anybody else really gets a chance, but uh, we really talked to our guys. We've done this to several other high-end prospect pitchers in the past. Uh, it just seems like when we face guys like this, our guys step up and do a good job. Questions? John, talk about that home run you hit. It seemed like that was kind of the final blow. Uh, I, was, I guess it was a good or bad. It was 1-2, I think the count was. and I was kind of I was sitting fastball away, and he just came inside and just dropped my barrel with bat on the ball. And lucky enough for final with Fence. So it was uh, definitely a momentum changer, I thought. Uh, I just kind of, I thought it deflated them a little bit and kind of lowered their morale. So it was definitely big for the team. Kyle, I guess you weren't uh, very impressed with, with their guy coming out. I think you were three <laughs> for three against him. Yeah. But what, what were you able to do? Um, we knew he was going to come out come at us with fastball, so we figured up. Uh, we made some adjustments in batting practice so we could see some uh, faster pitching in batting practice. And, what were you able to do in batting practice? Uh, we moved up um, our L screen and focused on a little bit harder, so just a little less reaction time. So definitely helped out a lot. Coach, I know you obviously you always expect to win, but to see him, get, you know, give up eight runs, he's never given up maybe more than five in his career. Are you, like, what, what were you able to do? Well, we, like I said, we, we looked at his stats, and you know, he was a strikeout guy. Not a lot of walks, and we knew he was going to throw the ball in his own. And so just gear up and look fastball. Uh, swing the bat. I think we got a pretty good hitting team. And so I uh, thought we did a good job. We did a good job ruling the game on him. And he, you know, he's pounding his own, but he's swinging it. And like I said before, we told him we faced uh, Danny Powers, pitcher here from Central Missouri, and beat him when he's coming off as pitcher of the year with 14 0, a young man from Lynn University. A couple of years ago, was a top round draft pick. We beat him at Lynn. Uh, so we've done this to a couple different guys. And, high-end pitchers, and so I mean, we have some guys in our league that throw pretty well, too, and so that's, that helps out. Can you just how important it is to get the two days, I mean, it's almost 72 hours until your next game, you only went to the bullpen one, you know, once in two days, it yeah. seems like you're pretty well, as, as well set up as you could possibly be. Yeah, we should be, and getting the two days off is going to be great, it's a key for our guys to give them some break, because this, this drain is quite a bit tonight, this game, I'm sure I just, even me just standing around, so uh, we're going to... You know, we'll give our guys off tomorrow and uh, we'll come back in on Wednesday and get a workout and get ready for Thursday. You knocked off a couple of high-power teams. You're not giving up any runs. I mean, well, I, our pitching staff is, like I said, our, we started off the year throwing really well. Some of our luck, we, we had some tough luck, luck losses early in the year. Uh, our pitching staff did a great job in some of those losses. We just, we didn't hit the ball. We struggled a little bit early with adjusting to the new bats, but now we've got them figured out. Uh, so, our pitching has been carrying us the last several weeks, you know, and, and well, and well every, every aspect of the game. We've been playing pretty good baseball the last three or four weeks now. Especially the first, uh, I think, six runs all came with two outs, and it was five, like, up and down the lineup, guys getting clutch yeah. hits. Has it, has it been that way all year for you? Yeah, yeah. You know, we, you look at our lineup, we, we got a couple guys we know. We know Tony's going to get us ignited at the beginning, and Joe Clay's been steady in the four hole. But after that, so everybody, the rest of our guys in life, it, it, it seems like it's always somebody different every game that's doing something to help out. And that's, I talked all year long, my biggest job is trying to keep 14 hitters happy, but now we've zeroed in on some, and, and, uh, and but we got a lot of guys that can swing. Uh, Cody, can you talk about your performance? And I think they had a, their guy Knox was second in the nation with home runs. It seemed like you held him in the park. And... Uh, yeah, I, I was pretty happy with my performance. You know, I had uh, mixed it up pretty well. With, uh, Try to keep him off balance. Um, that three hitter uh, basically just went right after him, uh, mixed it up with fastball sliders mostly, and then uh, you know like kept him off balance enough where uh, he didn't uh, hurt us. Was it getting those two runs, you know, top of the first? You already had the lead, and then it kept getting out. That must have helped your confidence as well. Yeah, definitely when the offense, you know, can score you know, those first couple innings there and uh, put up some runs, uh, definitely gives you confidence and uh, you go out there and just you know throw strikes. Uh, Pressure.